Mina, Konbanwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Coming at you with 2 Kings chapter 23 today. I know I haven't done any Bible preaching videos in several days, nor any video game videos for that matter. Um, an explanation will be upcoming in the next few days, possibly tomorrow, as well as catching up on all those preaching videos and all those video game videos. I'm um, going back over the chapters of the Bible that I've missed. I've taken some notes on what I need to cover and where I need to go back to. So look forward to those things in the next few days as well as the explanation. Uh, for now, we're going to go with 2 Kings chapter 23, and it is such a good chapter. King Josiah was unlike any king before him or after him. Really, he followed the Lord just like David did. And just... It's a shame, really, to see how rare it is that someone followed the Lord with all their heart. Not just some of it, not just most of it, but all of it, surrendering everything to Him. It's a shame that that happens so rarely. And I feel like what's being written here in the Old Testament is kind of a message of what happens today as well. A lot of people believe in the Lord, and a lot of people follow Him a little bit. Some people follow Him a lot. A few people follow him with almost everything, and then there's a handful that follow him with absolutely everything. That's been my experience. That's been what I've seen. And it's so awesome to see him just wrecking every single altar, every single high place, um, destroying every single idol, every wooden image, every altar that belongs to any god other than Yahweh. He even went so far. In verse 13, 2 Kings chapter 23, verse 13, Then the king, that's Josiah, defiled the high places that were east of Jerusalem, which are on the south of the Mount of Corruption, which Solomon, king of Israel, had built for Ashtaroth, the abomination of the Sidonians, for Chemosh, the abomination of the Moabites, and for Milcom, the abomination of the people of Ammon. And he broke in pieces the sacred pillars, and cut down the wooden images, and filled their places with the bones of men, thereby making them unclean, and thereby untouchable, according to Old Testament cleanliness rituals. He, and also... Uh, let me just keep on going here for a second. Just jump down to verse 19. Now Josiah also took away all the shrines of the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which the kings of Israel had made to provoke the Lord to anger, and he did to them according to all the deeds he had done in Bethel. He executed all the priests of the high places who were there on the altars and burned men's bones on them, and he returned to Jerusalem. He destroyed those who didn't love the Lord, and he even went into Samaria which had originally been a part when Israel was just one kingdom. It wasn't Israel and Judah. It was just Israel. He even went to Samaria. I don't know what the king of Assyria was doing, who supposedly had occupied Samaria, but apparently Josiah went all the way up there and destroyed the high places that were there as well. It also mentions at another point that he destroyed the abomination of Jeroboam. Uh, verse 15, uh, kind of in between the two. Moreover, the altar that was at Bethel and the high place which Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, the very first king that split off from Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, and he created those two calves. Um, and who made Israel sin? He made all of Israel sin with those two gold calves. Um, who made Israel sin, had made both that altar and the high place. He broke down and he burned the high place and crushed it to powder and burned the wooden image. He cleaned up hundreds of years of problems that Israel had brought on itself. It's like he reverted the kingdom all the way back to when King David was king. God, give me, and God, give those of you who want it, a heart to fully surrender to God like that. That is amazing to me, and it's rare to see that kind of devotion. That's just amazing stuff really inspired me and it's just like yeah follow god all out be that one percent be the minority who love the lord with literally everything and have literally surrendered everything to him guys thank you very much for watching i love you and god bless